What is going on everyone? My name is Anson and welcome back to a brand new Discord dashboard tutorial. So in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fetch the guild channels from the Discord REST API. This is a very straightforward procedure because I've already shown you all how to make basic HTTP requests to the actual uh, to the actual Discord REST API using Postman, as well as doing it in code. So uh, I'm going to go to the docs real quick for the Discord REST API. I'm going to show you how we can actually uh, get the guild channels. Okay, so first we're going to get the guild channels uh, based off of whichever guild that the user selects. So let's say, for example, um, if I select uh, a guild that I want to modify and then I want to update the welcome, uh, the welcome uh, message channel, right? That's the channel that the welcome message is going to be sent in. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and need to fetch all the guild channels for that specific guild. And how do we actually do that? Okay. So, uh, we can actually get that by going to get guild channels. So this endpoint right over here, slash guilds, slash guild ID, slash channels, this will give us uh, a list of guild channel objects. And you can click over here to see all of the properties that it'll come with. Okay, and that's all we gotta do. And uh, whenever we whenever we fetch this endpoint, we actually need to provide the bot token uh, in the head in the authorization header. Okay, it's pretty pretty straightforward. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so uh, let's go to our API or Nest.js project. We're going to go over to, uh, let's go over to controllers. So we're going to go inside the discord module. Uh, let's see, we're going to go to, um, discord.controller.ts and we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up a get request. So this is going to be a get request to get the, to get the actual guild channel. So we'll do slash guilds slash channels, and we'll call this method get guild channels okay and so what we're going to do is we're going to go inside the service the i discord service and we're going to go ahead and need to set up a method that the controller is going to call which is going to return back the uh the guild channels to the user so uh, what i'll do is i'll go inside discord.ts file which is this i discord service interface and i'll create a method called get uh, guild channels and for the parameters we're going to need the guild ID and that's all we'll need okay because we need to know which guild that we were fetching the channels for uh, okay so now that we've done that we got to go inside our discord service.ts file okay not the discord HTTP service the discord service and we have to go ahead and implement our new abstract method get guild channels Okay, and so this method is going to need to call a method from the Discord HTTP service. So we're going to need to create a method for that. Okay, and the, the HTTP service is the is the service that's going to actually make the get request. Okay, there's a reason why we are, you know, encapsulating everything as much as we can. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do is, here, let me do this, since I didn't do this in the previous videos. Go inside this contents constants.ts file and I'm gonna create a const I'm gonna create a, a constant variable. I'll call this Discord API and URL. I'm gonna call this a Discord base URL. And so all I'll do is I'll just simply copy this URL so that way we can reuse it over and over again so we don't have to constantly hard code unnecessary values. So uh, let's change this. Let's get this get rid of this part. Discord base URL, and we'll do the same. Yeah, we'll do the same over here as well. Okay, so Discord base URL, perfect. So now let's go ahead and set up the fetch guild channels. Okay, so it's a two-step two process. We have to go to, those, to the interface first. And we're going to go ahead and create a, a, an abstract method called fetch guild channels. And this is going to take in a guild ID. Uh, the guild ID is for the URL. Okay, 
And so we are going to need to create a custom type, uh, which is going to be a little bit annoying because um, we got to type annotate literally everything. But we'll, we'll ignore that. We'll ignore that for now. Okay, so let's go back to our service implementation of I Discord HTTP service. So inside the Discord HTTP service class, fetch guild channels, and we're going to go ahead and just return axios.get. Let's go ahead and get the base URL of the API first. So we have the base URL and we have to go to slash guilds. And then we have to get the guild ID and then slash channels. Okay. And we're going to need to pass the bot token, which is very, very easy. So we just provide the headers, authorization, bot. Uh, and because in the in previous videos we actually already uh we, we already actually got the token already, so we can easily just uh reference that. Let me actually see if I can move this up here. Just because we need to reuse it again anyways. Okay, so this should return the uh the guild channels. Hopefully there's no issue, because I'm pretty sure this is uh the correct way to do it. So now inside the Discord service class, inside the get guild channels method implementation we're going to go ahead and call the discord http service dot fetch guild channels method pass in the guild id and then now we're going to call get guild channels from the controller okay so what i'll do is i'll simply just uh, get the for now this is what we'll do this dot get guild channels. Let me, let me make this an async method. Okay. Uh, and we will need the guild ID as well. So for the guild ID, that'll be a route parameter. So um, let me see. There was a way that I set this up. Let me look at the guild controller. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and do this. So let's see, we have guild controller. So what I'll do is for this endpoint, I'm going to, I'm going to need to get the guild ID in the route. So I'm thinking what's the best way to do that? Uh, Cause I don't want the routes to conflict at all, but this is going to be prefix with slash, slash discord. So that's fine. Okay. So right over here, it's going to be, this route is going to be slash, it's going to be guild slash colon guild id slash channel so it's just going to be very similar to how the discord endpoint has it okay and we can easily just get the route parameter out using the param decorator remember this is imported from the nest.js common package okay and then we're going to get the guild id like that and it's a string and we'll pass this in here and what I'll do is I will, I'm just going to return data for now. I just want to see what is returned from the endpoint. So we got to actually test this out. Uh, so what we can do is this. So we're going to go ahead and visit this route. All right. So one thing that I do want to mention is um, make sure you actually take this, uh, this const token variable and make sure you actually put that back inside the method make sure you declare and initialize the value for the variable inside the method because it's actually going to be undefined which is not going to make the api call successfully okay uh but let's go ahead and test this out so we want to uh test out our endpoint so it's going to be slash guilds and then slash guild id and then we're going to paste in the guild id and then slash channels so inside my database i'm going to go ahead and grab uh the correct guild ID. So this is just going to be a guild ID that my bot is in. So in the browser, I'm going to type slash API slash discord slash guilds and then paste that guild ID in there and then slash channels. And you can see that this is going to give me, uh, it seems like these are partial guild channel objects. And that's okay because we don't really need everything. We only need, I think the, the most important thing that we need for these guild channel objects are the guild ID, that's it. Okay, so we don't really need to worry about everything else. 
Okay, so uh, from here, let's go ahead and finish this video off with a couple of things. So we're going to go ahead and type annotate the partial channel. So let's create a type called partial guild channel. And we're going to need all of the necessary properties. Now, I'm not sure if there might be more properties that might exist because you can see that some of these channels, I guess it depends on the type of channel. So uh, I think, yeah, so you can see right over here, I think type two, I think if it's a, I think if it's type two, let me see, type two should be a text channel, I think, or no, it's a voice channel. I think type, uh, let's see, guild text is type zero. Okay, so uh, let's see, let's take this and this. So it seems like we only have two channels that are text channels. Okay, so we're going to need to get all of the properties. So it's going to be ID. So that's the ID of the guild channel. Last message ID. I don't like that it's snake case, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna get the type, name, string, position, number, uh, the parent underscore ID, topic. I think topic is a string, I think. Yeah, topic should be a string. But again, we don't, like I said, we don't need to worry so much about a lot of these properties. So, but I'm just, I'm still going to type annotate anyways, in case we, in case we might need it at some point. Now, permission override seems to be an array. I think it's an array of, uh, of, I'm not sure what, what it's an array of. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as an, as an empty array. Uh, I'll actually leave it as, uh, as a, as an array of strings for now. If you know what it is, feel free to uh, type annotate it yourself. Uh, rate limit per user string. Then banner. I think banner is also a string too. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else that could possibly be a string. I think maybe parent might be... I think parent ID can also be null too because there might be a channel that... Yeah, there might be a channel that does not have a, uh, does have a parent. Okay, that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type annotate this. So it's going to be a little bit annoying because some of these, some of these properties, some of these, uh, some of these channels are missing certain properties, but that's okay. As long as we are filtering out the ones that are filtering out the ones that are not tech channels, that's the most important thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to first go into the discord HTTP service. We're going to type annotate this API call. So it's going to return an array of partial guild channel. Okay. Now, if you want to be more advanced, you could create multiple different types and you could cast it to the correct type based off of the, uh, the, the channel type, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. So, uh, when we fetch the, uh, when we fetch the guild channels, what we're going to do is we're going to return this back to the controller. So that way we actually get the guild channels, but let me actually do this. I need to type annotate everything else. So, uh, fetch guild channels is going to return a promise access response, partial guild channel array, just like that. Okay. So now, and we'll do the same thing for discord.ts. This is going to return an array of partial guild channels. Well, actually, wait, hold on. Okay. But the types, okay, that's fine. So let me go here. So, uh, get guild channels should return a promise access response. Partial guild channel. There we go. So now the type is going to be partial guild channel, which is good. Okay. So data is going to be an array. And what we're going to do is we're just going to filter everything out. We don't have to necessarily filter out, but I'm going to filter it out. So we're going to go ahead. So that way it'll be a lot easier because we need to get this from the front anyways. So um, it doesn't make sense to send category channels or voice channels for something that's text channel related. So yes, we actually do need to filter out. So that's that's actually not an optional thing. So sorry about that, but good thing I clarified. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just simply, uh, let's see, return data.filter. 
and we want to filter out all the ones that, so basically if let's see uh if channel dot type is equal to zero return and whoops no, i didn't mean to do that there we go here okay cool so when we when i refresh you can see that it gives me all text channels only and that's literally all we need to do so um well, yeah, we don't have to uh, we don't have to wrap this in a try catch because NestJS will handle the uh, the exceptions for us. Okay, but if you want to ma ma manually do it yourself, you can. So that's gonna be pretty much it for this part of the video. In the next episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and fetch this endpoint from the front end. We're gonna load up all of the uh, the channels in that select dropdown box that we have created already, and then we're gonna and then in the episode after that, we're gonna go ahead and actually update the me the welcome message channel. So I'll see y'all in that next video. Peace out.